What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Miss Ross. And listen, if you guys are following me across social media, um, I appreciate you. Thank you guys so much. And make sure you guys suggest our page to your friends and your family. This is how WMRR is going to be able to expand our market. But I want to jump right into this topic. So I got into it on social media. You guys know I'm always debating some asshole on social media. It's okay. I'm built for this, all right? This is what I do. I debate. I try and educate, um, enlighten people. And at the same time, I learn a lot. You guys honestly teach me a lot. When I'm on social media, um, for some reason, I under I realize that a lot of black men, you know, it's like you guys take pride in always trying to correct a black woman. It's like you're always trying to prove that that woman is wrong. And it's not so much that I get irritated and annoyed at that. It's okay to correct me. I'm all for correction because I'm not out here debating you and trying to prove to the world that you're stupid. And this is what a lot of you do to us. And that is what's disgusting about you. Because when I correct you, I correct you in love. When I inform you, I inform you in love. When you correct me, you try to correct me to try to embarrass me and humiliate me and try and make other people think that I am not as intelligent as I am. And see, that's what pisses me off about you type of men. Listen, we're not in competition and it's not, it is not a competition in regards to who's brighter or who's smarter because I can assure you, I know people who have master's degrees. I know people with PhDs, but I am way more smarter than those people. I don't need a degree that validates my intelligence. Women are in fact more intelligent than a lot of you mofos out there and I think that's the part that bothers you the most it's like you want to believe that you are the only species of humankind that is intelligent and that makes you extremely delusional because I don't have to sit on social media and argue with you that women are smart there are women breaking records every day there are women who make 10 times more than the average male. But you wanna be on social media arguing with me about how stupid black women are and how dumb we are, rather than give us props for the fact that we do hold a torch alongside you. See, a lot of you have a problem with women not being behind you anymore. And a real man wouldn't even want his woman behind him. He would want her standing right next to him. And that's the difference between you and a lot of other men who have matured to a level of understanding that women play a significant role in how this world operates. So for all of you Negroes out there who take pride in trying to tear me down, trying to make the world believe that I am stupid and other black women of intellig- intelligence are stupid. You guys are only showing the world what type of person you are. Because I don't, I can't seem to understand why you would even, you know, feel proud to even try and bring a black woman down. Like, what is your issue? I had one guy argue with me and tell me that my coochie don't get wet. I never slept with this man a day in my life. How do you know anything about my coochie? That's another disgusting trait that you guys have. You always try to mislead people into thinking that you know something about us when you absolutely know nothing. That is disgusting. That is childish. It is inappropriate behavior. And it's coming from a lot of black men in their 40s. And yes, it is disgusting. It's it's very um, unattractive. It's immature. Why do you guys resort to doing things like that? Why do you bear false witness against people? Because that's what you're doing. You're breaking one of the commandments. You're bear false witnessing against your neighbor. You're making up lies. You're trying to make people believe that this woman is something that she's not. You're trying to make people believe that a certain quality about a woman is not so. And a lot of you do that because you, you can't. It's like your argument can't stand on its own. Your arguments and your defense obviously don't have a leg to stand on. Because why would you resort to to just making up shit and, and just throwing stuff out there to try and make people say, what? 
Like the guy with the coochie thing. Her coochie doesn't get wet. People are gonna automatically assume, what do you, how would you know? Did you sleep with her before? Because that's the first thing that will come to my mind. That's why when I hear men say things like that to women, my first question is, oh, you slept with her before? I mean, because you you have had to slept with this woman or seen her naked or have had to have her take her clothes off in front of you in order for you to even determine whether or not her coochie is wet or whether it stinks. And you, I mean, that's to me, that's stupid. That's like me insinuating to the world that a man has a small penis when I have never seen this man's penis a day in my life. I'm just going to throw it out there that your penis is small. And I'm gonna throw it out there in a way that makes people think that I know what I'm talking about. This is what you manipulative, egotistical jerks are out there doing. I don't want somebody out there representing me disrespecting women. It says a lot about your character. You out there throwing negative insults and untruths about me says more about you than what you are trying to insinuate. And a lot of you are too dumb, too arrogant, too hypocritical and egotistical to even realize that. And that is the part that is amusing to me. You're, you're on social media calling me stupid, literally calling me stupid. Men have literally called me stupid when there's nothing stupid about me and you know it's not. You call me stupid because I have an opinion. You call me stupid because I don't agree with you. You're calling me stupid because I disagree with your belief of something. Who does that? It's like these 40-somethings, you're, you're 40 years old, but you're not maturing. Because mature adults, they know when to agree to disagree. They know when to digress. Uh, you know what? I can't convince this person that what I'm saying is relevant or has some sense of truth to it. So when I get to a point where I can't convince somebody that what I'm saying is valid, even if it's valid in the least, I walk away. I agree to disagree. I'm not about to keep arguing with you and I don't even want to insult you because listen, I respect that that's how you feel. I respect that that's your view on things. And I respect that maybe you had an experience, which is why you even think the way that you do. And I leave it at that. I don't judge you. I am not. I don't want to insult you. But you guys can't do that. You can't walk away without calling me stupid. I could be debating someone on social media about politics. And this Negro will throw something out about my coochie, about my hair weave, my eyelashes. Just throwing stuff out that has no relevance to the point that he's trying to make. How did my coochie even become a topic of this conversation? But you guys got to make sure you tune in to the show because I got a lot of shit that I want to say to black men. And I say black men because black men are the only men that I've dealt with. I haven't dealt with a Spanish man. I haven't dealt with a white man. I haven't dealt with an Italian man. All my experiences have been with black men and this is why I address the black community of men. Because I've even had men say, why are you always talking about black men? Because that's my experience. Okay, why are you acting like a dodo bird as if I'm going to talk about any other race that I know nothing about? I've never dated a Spanish man. How can I tell you anything about being with a Spanish man when I've never dated a Spanish man? I've only dated black men. I'm borderline pro-black. I don't even, it's hard for me to even give another race an opportunity. But I'm also the type of woman to never say never, but as it stands now, I'm technically, technically, I've been told I'm pro-black. In every sense of the definition, I am pro-black. That's what I've been told. Hey, somebody brought that to my attention as well. You see how we learn something every day? Five years ago, a male told me, you're pro-black, Miss Ross. And I said, I'm not pro-black. They said, yes, you are. I said, how do you figure that? And guess what? They, pro they broke it down. I didn't get mad at this guy for telling me that I was a certain way. And that's what a lot of you are not mature enough to do. You're not, you're not mature enough to admit when you're wrong. Debates should be about educating one another. If you're going to argue with somebody or debate with somebody, there has to be a common ground towards the end of that debate or argument where somebody walks away with a new knowledge, finding out something that they didn't know before. It shouldn't be 
you trying to prove how smarter you are than that individual. Because whether you try and prove how smart you are compared to that individual, if you didn't teach that person anything, you're just as dumb as they are. Because you're arguing a point that was pointless because nobody learned anything from the debate at all. You're supposed to be able to walk away from a debate and, and have learned something have come into some type of knowledge that you didn't know before. Let me stop right now and give props to all the black men who have respectfully corrected me and educated me in a respectable manner. It was no tearing me down. It was no trying to tell me that I'm stupid. They didn't take pride in trying to prove to anybody that I lacked the knowledge at that time, they didn't they didn't take pride in trying to prove how ignorant I was. Anthony Malcolm, you guys look him up. This guy will educate black women from a respectable angle. He doesn't come at us disrespectfully. He knows how to respect his queens. He does not thrive and pride himself on trying to tear black women down. Rick Party. Rick Party does not try and tear black women down, even if he has to correct us. It is not going to be in a way of humiliation. He's not going to do it like that. Will Sirius, another one. I can count on my hands all the men that I'm familiar with. I want to start acknowledging those men. I'm going to put together a ceremony for those men. I just, that, that inspired me because I think those men are not um, recognized enough. I don't think they're recognized enough. And, and that's what I want to do. Recognizing those black men who protect, who educate, and who defend black women with every fiber of their being. So you guys keep it locked right here. Don't go nowhere. WMRR Radio, we are the new wave, Miami and Atlanta's new number one for music, news, and talk.